in nigeria when you ask a child how many seasons do we have we have two seasons we have the rainy season and the dry season but in the uk if you ask a child how many seasons do we have and that child tells the teacher we have the rainy season and a dry season that child is going to fail and you as a mother i'm going to hold you responsible anyway good and everyone and welcome back to nurses lecture room youtube channel my name is miss mary popularly known as the nurse with the difference and i make learning easy and accessible for all my students today i'm going to be making a short video about the various seasons in the uk and the period of the year where these seasons mm -hmm. Where these seasons take place but before i go into details if you are new on our youtube channel please click on the subscribe button turn on the notification button so you don't miss out for all my returning subscribers this is me saying thank you let's go there welcome back like i earlier said today i'm going to be sharing with you the four seasons in the uk especially those that are new to the uk and they are wondering what season are we are we in the rainy season or dry season are we in spring are we in autumn are we in summer are we in winter which season are we so this video is going to be sharing is going to be talking about the various season and when they occur in the year in that particular part of the year so the first season i'm going to be talking about is a spring is a spring we are in spring currently and spring usually occurs between march to may march to may in spring you can see everywhere is sunny today as i'm shooting the video everywhere is very very sunny and it's the lightning from the sun i'm using so in spring everywhere could be very very sunny sometimes it can get cold sometimes it might be raining you can see some um some rain showers and all those things it can be cold it can be sunny it can be rainy it can be hot so spring is like from what i've noticed so far during spring the flowers spring out that's why it's spring you see beautiful flowers around so if you check for those in the uk now you can see the beautiful flowers the flowers are all beautiful the flowers are growing well you are seeing the beautiful environment in spring so spring occurs between march and may then the second season we have is summer so when you hear, when you hear about summer, summer is usually the hottest. Let me use that word. It's usually the hottest season. It's usually the season everywhere is like it's bright. It's not like spring. Room. It's usually very, very bright. Everywhere is very, very bright. Normally, when you go out, you may decide not to take that big jacket. You can just take some cardigans alongside in case it gets cold in um, in summer. But summer is generally known as the bright season. You get so you can just for safety reasons especially those that are new and are not fully adjusted to the weather condition you can just take some little jackets or some little cardigans in your backpack to avoid stories that touch when it just skip a little so but summer usually occurs june to august that's the time for summer summer is between june to august that's where you hear of summer break hey that's where you hear of summer break most employee they give their most employers they give their employees time to go out some weeks in summer to enjoy the atmosphere with their family to hang out to go on a vacation with their family because during the summer period everywhere is bright so summer occurs between june to august then the other one is an um, the other season is autumn 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 occurs between september and november now autumn is giving you sign it will soon get cold it will soon get cold it will soon get snow so autumn is cold it occurs between september to november in the uk then the last season is the boss of all boss hi the winter oh like if you are coming during the winter period hold your jacket so the winter period usually occurs between december to february that's the winter period december to february it is usually very very cold as most times during this period you can witness snow for those that have not witnessed snow 
and are new to the uk and are planning to witness snow so wait between december to february that period that winter period here you will see snow because it's during the winter period that you, that's why you hear winter jacket winter jacket winter boots because everywhere it's really cold so these are the four seasons in the uk for those that are new to the uk so you know like what season are we now you'll be able to tell them so if you are in the month of march to may you are in spring june to august you are in summer september to november you are in autumn and december to february you are in winter so these are the four seasons in the uk but in nigeria where i came from it's as simple as that we have the rainy season and the dry season so that was what they taught me in school but in uk it's different so i believe in the uk what they teach just children here will be there are four seasons in the year and that seasons are autumn spring winter and summer summer is the best oh summer is the best <laughs> all right all right i'm just so excited today this is my last video i'm shooting for today and this is number five video thank you very much for staying tuned thank you very much for watching my video don't forget to like don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to share with a friend if you got value for all my returning subscribers this is me this is miss mary humbly saying thank you thank you for always watching our video see you in our in our next video bye i love love you i love love you seriously bye <laughs>